Hi right, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Minecraft Story Mode, episode six. Let's go on. Um. Oh no! Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. <sighs> Those poor people. guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the white pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry. We're going to crack this wide open. What's in the chest? I'm guessing this chest should have... Yep. We've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow. An ender pearls. Sweet. That must have been how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Doc. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Okay. Fish. Whoa. Yeah, looks like the white pumpkin's been there too. Look at all these libraries and books. Let's see here, Legends of the World portals, basic portal theory, portals and you. Wow, they're all about portals. It's pretty obsessive. Cat's chest. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty. Can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty! Ugh, stupid cats. Need something to distract it if I'm going to get that chest open. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. Cut it. Gotcha. Ha! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. I bet that cat'll love this. It better. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Ah, many cats. So many cats. Oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. At least I can finally get in here now. Yeah. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. 
Guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay, so who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. All right, let's go. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you going to tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Go on, Cassie. Tell them. Tell us what, Cass? It sounds like Jesse's trying to make you think that I'm the White Pumpkin. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's Cats. something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie said she recognized us, even before we saw the portraits. Uh, actually, that was Lizzie. Oh, shoot. I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. No. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre xed out. One for each of us. Except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all looked just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved, but also surprised. But Cassie, I still don't understand. Why a portal key? Yeah, why? I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? 
You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Nope. You've spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 no. I won't let you do that. I can't. No. This is your fault. You did this to me. Ah! I'll fight all of you. Each and every one of you. I'll After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Wait, look! She's gone? I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. That's awful. Poor Cassie. She did some terrible things, but no one deserves to be trapped away from home like that. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free! And we're alive! It's not wasted standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here! I thought she was gonna come out of the sand. Oh, I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh! Yeah, that is... yikes. That is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. It is really sad that they're gone. But I think they'd be happy that you guys made it out okay. I think you're right. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which... I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so the drama continues. Fascinating. Hey, it's cool, guys. You can share it. Make like your own Order of the Stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with that. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. <laughs> yeah, me too. Bye. Travel safe, you guys. Bye, you too. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds... It all adds up, I guess. I know! Oh, wow. I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. It does. If it's true, I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Hi. Winslow?
what happened? What happened? I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world! I knew you weren't dead, Cassie. I knew it was way too easy. And yet you still walked right into my best and final trap. I don't know how much time you spend with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Okay, you're right. You win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. <gasps> Wings for my pet. Activate the trap. Want something done right, you can prepare for your death. <laughs> Come on, Winslow. Ah, uh, uh. Ugh, stupid door! Oh, that's no use! Without a lever, or button will never get these iron doors open! Just hold on, guys! I'm gonna get up to the control panel! <laughs> yeah! That is... disorienting. Come on! Just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me my key, Jesse. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. Yeah, let's go for it. You're not a fast learner, are you? <clears throat> I grow tired of this game, Jesse. So do I. The key? You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No! <laughs> no, we are going home. No, no, you can't do this. I'm waiting too long. It's mine, Kathy. I won't let you have it. Ah. What the? Winslow, don't touch that! No, 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 Winslow! Bad kitty, stop it! Winslow! Good boy, sweet kitty! Bring that to master! You, you stupid cat! Don't threaten my cat! Only I threaten my cat! A 
I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> Never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever! Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! She wanted us to end up trapped in my own trap. <laughs> of course. Of course. You got what you deserve, Cassie. You've been ruthless and selfish and mean, and this is where it gets you. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best, my only friend. Winslow, who loves you? Come to Master! Oh, there you are! There you are! You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow. So she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless mm. this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Yeah. Good side so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Good. Good point. Ready? One, two, two three. Adventure! I for you, idiot. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. Alright, so I guess we ended it. So what's gonna be next? Alright, what's going on dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. <laughs> I mean, dude, you saw that, right? Yeah, yeah, I How saw it. How much worse can it get? First they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. It sure you know? is. Thank you, Captain Sparkles. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. Oh. All right. So, guys, this is going to be it for um episode six, and I. Uh, Yeah, this is it for episode 6, and I guess I'll see you in the next episode, episode 7. So, let's just take a look what episode 7 is. Access denied! I wonder what's this gonna be. And the last one is, a Journey's End. 
all right thank you all for watching and like and comment on the videos subscribe to our channel and check out our fantastic web page